What's going on, guys? Okay, so today I want to take on what I would consider one of the most controversial, if not the most controversial, Skywars topics out there, which is how unbelievably unfair Speed 2 is in some situations within Skywars Insane Mode. Now, I'm only talking about Insane Mode in this video because that's the thing I play the most and I definitely know the most about it when it comes to all of the different Skywars game modes. I think most people can agree on the fact that Speed 2 in Minecraft, especially when you incorporate PvP into it, is very, very hard to deal with, to say the least. Now, if you're a good speed pvp -er, which I would consider myself almost dependent on speed at times, which is a problem in itself, but I would consider myself very good at speed PvP, especially in Skywars. It's just my domain. I've been doing it for years. So I know the ins and outs. I know exactly how to abuse it pretty much naturally without even having to think about it, as do a lot of good players or just experienced players. But it's just the way Minecraft's made that makes speed in PvP so unpredictable at times, as well as completely unfair, especially if you are going up against someone with speed when you do not have it yourself. Now make sure to listen to this entire thing before you comment down on something just so you can make sure that you get my thoughts straight and you understand where I'm coming from because I'm going to try to explain every single detail but today I wanted to talk more specifically about the frog kit and the scout kit and just speed being the absolute top tier meta pretty much unchallengeable in terms of metas in Skywars and it's been this way for years now you are seeing the gameplay in the background where I'm actually switching off between scout and frog which is something I never do depending on the map I always just run scout because I'm lazy and I just don't want to deal with frog related stuff and I think overall scouts just better for the duration of a game not off the start. But nonetheless, I think Frog is way, way better if you're trying to be aggressive and rush mid. And I think it is so far above any other kit, even above Scout in Skywars, and things definitely need to change. Now this commentary mainly stems from a discussion I had with Polyphys about, about, well, exactly this. He asked me what I think could be done to help the speed meta of Skywars. And I was giving my tips, and I wanted to share it with you guys because I think a lot of people can resonate with this. We had a whole discussion about what could be changed and what could be altered to maybe bring the different kits closer together because right now it is polar opposites in my opinion. Again, I do have like 60,000 solo kills or whatever I have. Uh, so I, th I think I've, I think I have enough experience to really talk about <laughs> solo insane Skywars. But basically, if you do not know how it stands currently in solo insane, if you're a normal player, maybe you don't play Skywars that much, how it currently stands is you basically need consistent speed either in the beginning of the game or throughout the game to fight players confidently. I would give a very safe estimate here, and I'm serious about being safe, I would say 50% if not higher of the players in any individual game will be using either Scout or Frog. Now there are over 20 kits in this game and the fact that two of the kits are the only two that are being predominantly used should be a red flag for a lot of people. It doesn't take a genius to realize that that could be a slight issue. Again, I want to touch back on the gameplay that you're watching in the background. Now, you may think it's kind of hypocritical to be using the kit while trying to say that the kit needs to be nerfed. It is one of these situations at this point and has been for a while where you do have to join the rest of the people using it or else you just simply are putting yourself at a disadvantage and you're just not going to have nearly as much fun or be nearly as successful as you could be if you match them in the kits they were using. It, however, does not mean that you can't be opposed to kits getting reworked. I love the Scout kit, and I've used it for years now, but I am absolutely on board with changes being made to both Scout and Frog to help address this problem. I do think it's a problem. I know a while back I said that Skywars was a dead game and blah blah blah, and it was kind of a meme, but I was kind of being serious. But I completely retract that statement. I think Skywars is by no means a dead game, and it could really only be considered a dead game when you compared it to its peak years ago, but that's not really a fair thing to do because things will grow and shrink as time progresses. But it's not in a good state in terms of the meta. And I think that reflects a healthy game. Healthy games typically have a evolving meta that changes from time to time. Sometimes it'll change to one thing and then come back to another. In games with characters, Certain characters will become more prevalent, way stronger, they'll be used heavily, and then they'll be nerfed or changed, in which another character will then rise to the top. In Skywars, characters would be equated to kits. This has not happened. Scout has been pretty much the reigning champ ever since it was released, in terms of what good players are going to use. And then the second frog was discovered to be 
even better in my opinion. It completely took over the rushing kit market, if you will, and it hasn't changed for years. These have been the two dominant kits for years now, and I don't think that indicates a healthy meta. Now I'd like to go back to the fact that there are over 20, maybe even 30 kits in this game, and you can't really use many of them. There are a ton of fun kits in Skywars that you can have a great time with, but again, if you're competitive like I am and so many others at this point that are still playing Skywars, you're just not going to use them because you know that the chance of you losing a game using a fun kit or a slightly less advantageous kit, you're just gonna lose or you're not gonna do well consistently. And Skywars really is all about consistency because they're fast games, you want to win consistently and just keep your momentum during your gaming session. Usually when I do commentaries about a specific topic, it takes me a little bit to get good games for you to watch in the background. I literally hopped on, haven't played in two days. I know I've been slacking. First game on, I just started popping off. You'll see at the end, but I ended this with a 13 KD. I didn't even bother to reset my high stats, but I did so well with the two kits I was using in this video that I didn't even have to record anymore because the background games were dominant. I was popping off with these kits and I do credit the kits way more than my own skill. Although I will say I was looking pretty good. I was feeling pretty good at least. Maybe I wasn't looking as good as I was feeling. You get me? Lastly, still talking about the kits. There are several kits that are currently sitting slightly below Scout and Frog in terms of them being viable kits. I think there's like three, four, maybe five kits below the top two that definitely given a nerf to Frog and Scout could be phenomenal kits. The one that comes to mind instantaneously is Pig Rider because that is just an overall well-rounded kit. But there are several kits that given a chance could become meta kits or at least kits that you would see more often because they actually will give you a chance. I guess the biggest problem I have with speed in Skywars is the fact that even if you select a phenomenal kit like Pig Rider, which overall, if you look at what it gives you, is by far the most dominant kit in the entire game, even if you select a kit like that, just because the other person you're up against has speed, they will still have an advantage regardless of what they have in a kit. That's how powerful speed is. Frog only makes that exponentially worse because Minecraft is notoriously a laggy game with a lot of laggy players. And once you start to introduce latency into the game, especially with a jump boost potion, which Frog is, as well as a speed, it becomes increasingly hard to even remotely fight Frog players. I'm talking their hits are crazy on you, you have hard time registering hits on them, their KB is out of control, it's completely unreliable, they can escape any situation, they can get into any situation, they get armor off the bat. You do run into KB issues with Scout because speed so heavily modifies KB people take, and again, lag plays into that as well. Some people just don't take any KB defaultly, so you give them speed and they literally look like they have anti-KB sometimes. They're getting some crazy hits on you because you're displaced in position to them, so it looks worse than it actually is, which I fall for all the time. Bottom line is I think there needs to be something done to the top two king kits in this game. Now the question is, what should be done to it? And this is a very difficult question, and this is where people would disagree. Some people don't have an answer, and then they just say, well, if we can't think of a good answer, we should just not touch them because that way we won't do something that's even worse. I kind of see that logic, but I disagree with it because I think that it should still be addressed and something should be done. So the ideas I had, and I relayed that to Polyphies, was that first of all, Frog should definitely be downgraded to speed one. That would take away a ton of the advantage because not only do you have jump boost so you can get into mid instantaneously, you can get out of situations instantaneously. You also have a shorter duration than Scout, obviously, than a normal speed pot, but you do have a short duration of speed two as well, which is like the best of both worlds. So I definitely think that they should probably decrease it to speed one, which would combat half of the use of that kit, which would make it closer to an either or scenario where it's like, do you want a rush only kit basically? Or do you want or do you want a combat related kit that has a more elongated life throughout the game? If that's not an option, I would decrease the amount of potions you get with frog. I might do both. I would decrease the amount of potions you get with frog down to two and maybe even mess with the duration as well or to change it to speed one. You have to get away from letting frog be an all purpose kit and more about it being a rushing kit, which obviously it's designed to do and that's how it's used, but it can be additionally used for much more. Now, what should they do to Scout? Because no, I'm not gonna just sit here and defend Scout and say Frog's the problem. Scout's still the problem because if you nerf Frog like that, 
then scout's gonna be the only thing that's gonna be used. So you have to nerf scout too. Again, I think that they should probably take away another speed potion. The duration's fine because that's kind of the whole point of the kit. You don't get a good weapon, you get zero armor. So the only thing you have are speed pots. So they do need to last longer than frogs. And they already are less time than a normal speed pot that you'd get from the map. So maybe you affect the duration a tiny bit, but I think the main thing with scout is you'd have to take away one of the three pots. Two would really balance it out because then you'd actually have to choose when you use it. Because basically how it is now, it's, you don't have to think twice about using a speed pot either with frog or scout because you know that you get one kill and it's a 50 to 70 percent chance that you're going to get more speeds from another scout or frog so it's basically infinite speed the rest of the game which is kind of the huge issue here now there's two alternate strategies to combating these kits if hypixel doesn't want to go in and nerf these two kits heavily the alternate way of dealing with this would be introducing more speeds into the game for everyone else not using these two kits so that would mean either a it's more common to get speed off of your island which i initially suggested but having thought about it more i actually don't think that would be a good idea as policy said back to me giving everyone in the game close to guaranteed speed feels a bit unhealthy too so i don't know about the islands giving speed which i agree with now having thought about it more so if that's not the option then what i think would be a better option i don't know if it's the best option but a better option would be decreasing the percentage chance for poison pots in middle because a they're useless everyone hates to see a chest with arrows and poison pots and b increasing the chance of you getting speed from middle it's not all that uncommon to get speed from middle but i think that an increase of speed from middle would encourage a lot of players to try different kits if they know that if they get to middle they can loot speed so they don't have to worry about not having speed but good gear you know the biggest issue with most kits is you can get into middle you can have a whole bunch of utility to your name because the kit you chose provides way more to you but the issue is you don't have speed so chances are very good that the very first fight you're going to be taking you're going to be up against someone zipping around the map with speed too the issue with that is although you might have better gear than them or more stuff to use on them you have to drop them instantly or else they run away and secondly if you can't even get to the point of them being low that means that they're probably just going to destroy you i'm telling you from experience if you're up against a good player with speed 2 and you do not have it the only option you really have if you're trying to play smart and consistent is running away there's almost no defending against a good player with speed too all right this is probably a really long video so i apologize but i thought it was interesting i love making these type of videos so let me know if you want to see more of these type of videos where i share my thoughts about stuff in the game it doesn't necessarily have to be scours i have a lot of experience just with minecraft in general all these high pixel games but i love making these videos they're so fun again let me know what you guys think about this topic by throwing something down below and i'll read through them and feel free to discuss with each other as well in the end of the day i think a huge issue currently with skywars is that people just don't really have as much fun as they used to because there's kind of only a couple ways to play if you're trying to play well or if you're trying to win it's a feeling i've always had where i just wish these other really cool kits in the game could shine in their own way without speed really getting in the way of that anyways enough rambling hopefully you enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe if you are brand new check out one of these other two videos thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time